What is going on guys? John here for a very special food video. And we are here in the heart of the city of Raleigh, North Carolina at a shipping container that has ominous classical music coming out of the seams. Now you may wonder why. Uh, it's because Freight Farms, the company, they take shipping containers and they completely renovate them to fully functional hydroponic farms. The water supply, the food, the lighting, everything, you can grow it in any condition. And then they take it there's restaurants all around us. So they take the crops and they just walk it directly to the restaurant. It's probably the freshest way to get food on your table that I can think of. And it's right here in the city, sharing space with a towing truck company. So if this is not the coolest farm you've ever heard of in your life, uh, I don't know what is. So join me, we're gonna check it out. Stay tuned. All right. All right, welcome to the farm. I love the music. I would, I would. So what's going on down here? Is this germination or? So uh, the seedling table. Okay. So it's a, it's a ebb and flow table. So the, the pumps come on automatically and they flood the shelf for so many minutes. Okay. Then there's a sensor that picks it up and it sits there and then it pumps it back out. How many different types of lettuce do you grow here? Let me grab, let's grab a couple of gloves. Sure. It depends on the season really. Um, <clears throat> Our average is about 10 different varieties at a time. Okay. All our lettuce when we deliver, the root ball is still attached, so the lettuce is still living. I've seen that at the grocery store. It's called live lettuce, right. and they bundle up all the roots together. They put it in a little bit of water, put it in the in the pack, and it lasts forever. Yeah, that's a really lot long. longer. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so in our lettuce, <clears throat> if you put it in a sealed container or a bag with a little bit of water, just a couple of squirts of water, right. it'll last two weeks easy. Wow. So in the, in the world of restaurants, they can't really comprehend that sometimes. You can taste all these. This is Green Star, which is in the uh, Remain family. All right. This little girl is Antoinette, which is it's really a Faris. You just come in here and snack sometimes? <laughs> you do. When we clean lettuce for delivery, I'm always <laughs> beating it. That's a very pungent, very, uh, wow. Yeah. Yeah, this now it's building. The, this one's the same, that's, uh, a Mizuno, which is a different kind of mustard. So how long from little baby lettuce to full size lettuce? Seven weeks. Seven weeks. Some okay. varieties up to nine. Okay. Um, you know, eight's probably the average. So these, these little girls right here are about three weeks old. They're they spend adorable. two weeks in the seedling table. Okay. They get transferred over here at the two two to three week mark. This one is, uh, um, is called Buckley, which is really a pretty oak leaf design. And it's a, it's really great taste with a, with a little bit of, it comes on a little bitter, but then it finishes a little sweet. Yeah. Ooh. Oh no, man down. Don't worry, the floor's clean. <laughs> really? We, we clean every day. Oh yeah. Wow. That is, that is even way more than that one. That's our version of an iceberg. Okay. So it was super juicy and has a lot of crunch to it. Like yeah. a real traditional yep. lettuce. Yep. 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 I've never had this much lettuce. It's like more than a salad. This is. I'm going to be full. All right. So we can get started on seedlings. We'll, we'll see how fast you can seed a tray. It's going to be slow. It's going to be slow. So, we'll get a tray out, and then plug her right here. They look like croutons. Right. This is usually when we, we like to play some ACDC or Van Halen when we're doing this. Okay. You doing that half? We're gonna, we're gonna race? Yeah, I'll go slow. I got these things that are a little bit harder to set. What is the uh, the rate of success? Some of them sprout, some of them don't, or is it pretty much just guaranteed? A, you know, sometimes it's been a, we'll get a full tray, but I, I would say about 80%. I think that's it. Congratulations. Right there. All right. And slide it right here and put it in, put it in the oven, as we say. All right, cookies going in. You ready to be? So the farm has, has a daytime and a nighttime. 
Okay. We're in the farm's nighttime. So the lights, if they were on. That's what I was more expecting. They come on automatically. Gotcha. When the lights come on, the side, Look at this. The side bits come on to cool, cool it down. Now this is awesome. We have no heat in the farm. There's no heater. It's just air conditioning only because the lights are so bright and they create so much you know, heat. It's like a lettuce nightclub. You ready to transplant? Let's do it. Send, send these babies to home. All right. All right. So I'll get an empty time. <laughs> So the panel, you know, they hang, you saw that coming in. And inside the panel, uh, there's two foams. Okay. And then this is a wicking strip. So you sandwich that between the foam. And it tucks in here, like that. And then the strip, the water will drip from the drip emitters to the top and then it wets the strip. The strips on, the water comes on every 45 minutes or something. So the strip's always somewhat saturated and it just goes down to the bottom and then recirculates back. It doesn't matter really which side of the wicking strip, you just put it on one side like that and just tilt it a little bit toward this end. I'm guessing these are the spacings yep. of each one? So that will give us uh, 45 plants. All right, so you pick this up. All right. See those two pegs? Yep. The top, and there's two little holes. So you slide right. it up. Let's see. You got to put the bottom in first. Oh. That is all right. All right. Do I get the other side in? Look at that. Cool. Wow. All right. Now we'll uh, pull some lettuce for harvest and okay. for delivery. Cool. You got to get a hold of the plug and do a little jig because the root the roots have grown into the um, wicking strip. So do a little bit, and then you'll pull it out as a as a head. Yeah. Right. To give it um, a little bit of more breathing. spacing, more air. <clears throat> You bag up everything all in one? Yeah. Because this, this is the biggest <coughs> dozen. And then you fold the bag. Uh -huh. Like this? Yeah. And then get your sticker. You seal it with the sticker? Yep. Look at that. It's ready to go. It's the coldest hand that run down this land. Where the ocean lands It's the tallest sound The damn smallest crowd But their hearts break loud Far from ever feeling lost with me I'll push you back towards Atlantis sea. All right, guys, well, thank you so much for watching this video. I really do appreciate it. Uh, thank you to Freight Farms. You guys can check out their website at freightfarms.com. Follow them on their social medias. Um, I really do think that this company is one of the coolest things ever. They're bringing produce to communities and places where previously you couldn't do it. You needed to have, you know, rich, fertile farmland. Now it's literally a parking lot of a towing truck company. So super cool stuff, guys. Thanks so much again for watching. Have a great day.